know, I'm sharing my book, A Christmas on Ice. Love it. And it's by Tom Fletcher. He's in McFly. So I'm going to read you a bit. And it's all about an egg on the ice. Oh, it's so magical. Santa sat on the egg day and night. It was very uncomfortable, as I'm sure you can imagine. But the elves made him breakfast, brunch, elevenses, lunch, tea, dinner, and supper every day, and delivered it to him on a tray with a song. Of course. They even wheeled his television in into the makeshift egg warming room, the airing cupboard so that Santa could watch his favourite Christmas films, which were mostly about him. <laughs> Whilst the egg defrosted beneath his enormous backside, occasionally the egg would wobble a little, and the longer Santa perched on top of it, the more and more it wobbled. Can you wobble like an egg? <gasps> Santa knew that this was a good sign that his warm bottom was doing the trick. But time was not on the egg's side. Each day that passed brought Christmas a day closer. Come on, egg wobbler, whatever you are, if you don't get a shift on and hatch by Christmas Eve, then I'll have no choice but to fly off and leave you. I'd hate to give up on you, but the children need me on Christmas Eve. It's my duty, you see. Whisper, Santa whispered worriedly as the clock struck midnight, signalling the end of another no-show day from whatever was inside the egg. At that moment, Santa had an idea. Maybe the egg would hatch faster if the airing cupboard was even warmer. Snuggle, Trump! Whack up the central heating and to full blast at once, Santa ordered. After a few hours, a ranch felt like a sauna. Sprout even cut the legs off his trousers and turned them into shorts. It wasn't long before all of the elves thought that that was a pretty nifty idea and followed suit. And for the first time in history, the North Pole gift shop in the elf city started selling sweater vests instead of sweaters and snapback caps instead of thick woolly felt hats. Leave you guys. It's wonderful, isn't it?